now that our reaction is happening and we have 20 minutes to wait for it to go to completion, we can take a closer look at the molecular level of this reaction. The synthesis of aspirin is an esterification reaction. To understand the reaction, let us look at our functional groups in both the reactants and our products. For our reactants, salicyclic acid has a carboxylic acid group, an alcohol group, and an arene. The acetic anhydride is an anhydride. Now let's look at our product, aspirin. Aspirin has a carboxylic acid, an ester, and an arene. The other product in this reaction is acetic acid. And as you can tell by the name, it's another carboxylic acid, as we can also see by the structure. We can see that the anhydride and the alcohol react together to produce the ester. Hence, the title of the reaction as an esterification reaction. Now we can also use some concepts from the textbook to help this reaction go along quicker. There are five things that we can do to increase the speed of the reaction. One is we can increase the concentration. Excess acetic anhydride is what we're doing for today. We can increase the temperature by turning up the heat. We can also add a catalyst. For us, this is sulfuric acid. We can increase the reaction as well by increasing the surface area of the reaction. Uh, we've done that by making sure everything is mixed fully in solution so that all the molecules can easily interact. And then the last thing we can do is increase the pressure. Here we are not really applying the pressure correction. To do this, we would have needed a th vessel with thick and secure walls similar to a pressure cooker. Okay, so according to my watch, our 20 minutes is up. So let's go over and we can now take our sample out of the water bath because our next step is to let it cool to room temperature before we place it in a rock salt ice bath. <laughs>